Today I'm going to show you how to build your own passenger train in Minecraft. And this features a cool orange and black design and the inside is packed with loads of seats. And before I start the tutorial I'd really appreciate it if you consider giving this video a like as it does help me out that a little bit more. But with all that said, let's get building. Here are all the materials that you will need for this build. So this train is based on this track design here and this is pretty simple. So all you need, you just need some polished basalt and some stone slabs. And I've just done two strips of polished basalt going all the way up. And then with some stone slab, just one slab on either end and then three in the middle. And another thing I love about train tracks is the fact you can add like little details in. So here I've added like bits of gravel and some white concrete powder and some grass just to make it look that a little bit more natural. So if you want to build the tracks first, it is 85 blocks across in total. Right, so enough about tracks. Let's actually start building the train. So first up, I'm just going to make the bases for each carriage. So first up, I've got some black wall here. I'm just going to place one starting off there and just another one on the other side. And then I'm going to leave a gap of two and then place another one. I'm doing that for the other side as well. So pretty much anything I do on this side, I'm going to mirror on the other side there. And then I'm going to leave a gap of 10. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. On the 11th block, place another black wall. Then I'm going to leave a gap of 2 and place another one. And the next stop, I'm now going to grab myself some grindstones. I'm just going to place one going into each black wall there. So I'm just going to do this in between. And that will create our set of wheels. And once that's done, I'm now going to grab myself some polished deep slate slabs. And I'm moving to the front here. I'm going to place three bits on either side there. And I'm going to place one coming diagonally out. And then extend that by another two. So we have a front bit just there. And then I'm going to add some more slabs in between these middle sections to connect these wheels up. And then coming to the end, I'm going to place two slabs each end there and then just connect these up and then once I've got all of the outer edge done I'm just going to fill in the rest of this area with some more slabs and the next up for the middle carriage so for this moving back to the black wall I'm going to leave a gap of five from this point here so one two three four five and that's it for place another black wall and another one on the other side then a gap of two so place another lot and then I'm going to leave another gap of 10. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. On the 11th block, let's place another pair. Gap of 2 and then another pair there. And then moving back to the grindstone, let's place 2 just in between these wheels again. Just there. And the next, moving back to the polished deep state slabs, I'm just going to connect these wheels together. And then just on either side, I'm going to place another two slabs. And then after that, just going to connect them together. And then just fill in the rest. And that will leave you with something like this. And then for the final carriage, again, with a black wall, from this point, just leave another gap of five. Let's place... One back wall there, another one on the other side. Then leaving a gap of two, let's place another lot. Then I'm going to leave another gap of ten. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then on that eleventh block, place some more back wall, gap of two, and some more black wall just there. And then after that, with some more grindstones, let's connect these wheels together again. And I'm going back to the polished deep state slab once more. Just going to fill in these gaps to start with. So connecting these wheels together. And then extending them out by two at the back here. And then connect them together. And then going to the front. I'm going to extend this out by three. And then diagonally up by one. And across by another two. And then just filling in the rest of the area here. So by doing this, that will create the base for our train. So next up, let's start building this train going up layer by layer. 
First up, moving to the front of the train. From this point here, I'm going to place four blocks. So one, two, three, four. And I'm just going to do that on the other side. And then I'm going to place three just at the front, sticking out just there. And next, I'm now going to grab myself some deep slate tile slabs. I'm going to place one on each side just there. And I'm also going to grab myself some deep slate tile stairs. I'm going to place one upside down one just on each side of the front there. And then I'm going to place some black concrete in the middle. And I'm moving back around, moving back to the black concrete. From this point, I'm going to extend it by eight, another eight blocks. And let's just do this on the other side. And after that, I'm going to leave a gap of two. because That's where the doors are going to go. And then I'm just going to place some more black concrete until I reach the end. And then next, moving to the middle cart. From this point, I'm going to place another ten black concrete. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And of course, doing it on the other side. Then leaving a gap of two. And then placing another 10 just until I reach the end of the carriage. So that should give you something that looks like this. And then for the back carriage, pretty much mirroring what I'm doing on the front. So again, from this point, I'm going to go across another 10 concrete. And again, just mirroring everything on the other side. And then leaving the gap of two, from this point, I'm going to place another 12. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And then just placing three sticking out at the front just there. And then with some more deep tech tile slabs, I'm going to place one on either side. And then with some tile stairs, I'm going to place one of these on each end at the front with one black concrete in the middle and by doing that that will complete our first layer so next up for our second layer so now we can start adding some color so for this i'm gonna grab myself some orange concrete and starting from this point here i'm just gonna place three at the front and then after that i'm gonna grab myself some smooth red sandstone stairs and also some slabs as well so i'm just gonna place one stair on either side and then one slab as well and then just behind each slab i'm then going to add another orange concrete and the next up i'm now going to grab myself some smooth quartz and then i'm just going to place two on either side to begin with then i'm going to leave a gap of one and then just place another strip of smooth quartz just until i meet this middle section here And then after that, I'm going to place some more quartz on top of these two walls just here. And then moving to the middle carriage, placing some more quartz on top of all the back concrete for this one. And then moving to the back carriage, placing some more quartz where this back concrete is. And after that, from this point, I'm going to place eight this time. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Just doing that on the other side again. And then I'm going to leave a gap here then place another two just on each side. And the next, I'm just going to do another orange front, same to what we've done on the other side there. So again, moving back to orange concrete, let's place three at the front just there. And then with some smooth red sandstone, let's place two stairs at the front there and followed by one slab either side and then behind each slab let's add some more orange concrete and the next up for some extra details so for this i'm gonna grab myself firstly some black stained the glass and i'm just gonna place one glass pane in the gaps here to begin with and then i'm gonna place one glass pane just there and then two on the other side and the reason why I'm doing this is because these front little doors are going to be the ones that are going to look open. So I'm just going to do this for each large two block gap. And then after that, placing some more panes on the gaps just on that end there. 
And then after that, I'm then going to grab myself some deep slate tire walls. I'm going to place one of these just on either side of each doorway. Just here. And then with some more black stained glass panes, just going to place another one in between the gaps on this side. And then next up, to link the carriages together, I'm going to be using some deep slate tile walls. And just in between these little gaps here, between each of the carriages, I'm just going to place two walls just there. I'm just going to do that for this side as well. And the cool thing about this is this will allow you to repeat this design as many times as you want. So you can pretty much extend the design of this whole build, which I think is quite nice. Oh, and before I forget, we do need to add some more detail to these wheels here. So for that, I'm going to be using some stone buttons. And then just on the black wall, I'm just going to place one button. Now for the third layer, so for this, moving back to the orange concrete, I'm going to place one on the back ends just there to begin with. And the next, I'm now going to grab myself some black stained glass. And I'm just going to place one on each end there, and then one at the front. And firstly, I'm just going to place two on either side at the front here. And the next, I'm now going to grab myself a, another deep state tire wall. I'm just going to place one on top of each glass pane there, and that will be for the driver's door. And I'm moving back to the smooth quartz. I'm then going to place another one on each side, just there. And the next, I'm now going to grab myself some black concrete. And then first, I'm just going to place one on each end, just there. Then leaving a the gap of two, I'm then going to place another two blocks on each side. And then I'm just going to fill that in with some black stained glass. And I'm moving along with some more black concrete. Place another two on each end, leaving a gap of two. And just repeating that just another two times. And then just at the back there, I'm going to add some smooth quartz. And then in between these gaps, just add some more of the glass. And then also with some more black stained glass panes, I'm going to place one pane and then two on top so you can build these doors up as well and the next for the middle carriage again so with some more smooth quartz i'm gonna place one on each end to begin with let's do it on the other side as well and then with some more black concrete leaving a gap of two i'm gonna place another three on this side and then just doing the same on this side as well and then filling in these gaps with some more Glass. And then finally, with a black stained glass pane, I'm just going to place one and then two on top there. With some more doors. And then for our back carriage, again, with some more smooth quartz, just place another two on the end there. And then I'm going to place another three black concrete, leaving a gap of two on each side. And then let's fill that in with some more glass. And then coming to the front section here, I'm going to place another fully back concrete. Again, leaving that gap of two. Doing that on each side. And then more black stained glass in the middle. And then just on the ends here, some more smooth quartz blocks. And then another two on the end there. And also extending these doors up as well. And then moving to the orange concrete, I'm going to extend these points up by one more. And then... Move back to the glass, I'm going to place one block on either side and then one at the front there. Which completes our third layer. So now for the fourth layer. So for this, going back to our orange concrete, I'm going to place one either side, just going one back just there. And then with some more black stained glass, I'm going to place one either side and then one at the front there. And then moving around, I'm then going to place one smooth quartz behind the concrete there. I'm going to place another one on the other end just there. And then in that gap, just add some more glass panes there. And that will complete our driver's door design. 
And then with some more smooth quartz, I'm just going to place seven along to meet up there. Doing that on the other side. Then leaving the gap of two, and then I'm going to place some more just until I meet up with the end of this first carriage. And then sticking with the smooth quartz, I'm just going to place a row on top of each section on this middle carriage here. And then remember to add the tile walls on the ends there. And then again, placing some more just to cover the windows. It's there. And then placing another eight just on the end there. Then I'm going to add two deep stake tile walls here. And then we can add the glass on top. And then I'm going to add one smooth quartz block next to that. Followed by some more orange concrete. And then with some more back stained glass, let's place one on either side. And then one at the front. Oh, and let's remember to add on to these doors as well before I forget. So with the fourth layer done, you can see the train is now starting to take shape. So now for the fifth layer. So again, moving back to the orange concrete, I'm going to place another one either side. And then for the top here, I'm going to use some black wall and I'm going to place one black wall either side. Then in the gap there, I'm going to grab myself a redstone lamp. I'm going to place one just there. And I'm moving around with some orange concrete. This is pretty easy. I'm just going to top off each carriage with all this concrete. Just placing a whole row on top of each carriage. And then in between these bits, just add in the walls. I'm just going to do this until I meet up with this point just here at the front. Oh, let's make sure I add that window in. Can't forget the wind. Can't forget the doors and the windows. Let's just add the rest of them in. And then at the front again, two more black wall, and then a redstone lamp in the middle. So now for our final layer, and this is probably the easiest layer out of them all. So for this, I'm going to grab myself some more polished deep slate slabs. And I'm just going to top off the carriage with all of them. So firstly, starting from this point, I'm going to place one slab there, making a row of three. And then just extending this all the way along. And I'm just going to do this for each carriage, just making sure that I leave a gap of three just there for the connections and then again placing another three and then extending it all across to cover the whole carriage and then gap of three and then finally just placing the final bit of roof Just until I meet up just there. And the next up for the power. So for this, using this middle cart from this window here, so like kind of like the fourth black bit. I'm just gonna go up and then from that point destroy one block there. And then I'm now gonna grab myself an iron bar to begin with. And I'm just gonna place one there, and then another one there. Then extend that across to the left, and then placing another one going up. And the next, I'm now going to grab myself a polished andesite slab. I'm going to place one just there. And after that, I'm then going to grab myself a daylight sensor. And I'm going to place one of them just either side of this slab. And that is pretty much the main exterior all done. So now moving on to the inside. So for this, I'm going to grab myself some polished andesite. And then starting from the front here, I'm just going to fill in all of this floor. So all of this bottom layer with some polished andesite just until I reach this point here. So pretty much where there's these two doors, I'm only going to place two blocks. 
But then after that, returning to normal and just filling the whole area up. And then when I get to one of the link areas, just leaving a gap there as well. And from that point, again, just building all the way across. And then two blocks there. And again, building all the way along. And then leaving the gap. Then filling it in again. And then another two blocks. And then finally, just filling in the rest. Just until I meet the end. Just over here. And then where I've left these two gaps near the doors, for this I'm going to grab myself some polish and site stairs. I'm going to place two stairs just either side there. So doing that for each set of the doors. And then for the gaps where the links are, I'm going to be using some deep slate tiles. I'm just going to place three just in those gaps just there and the next up for the roof so with some more polish and the site from this point i'm just going to build all the way across just filling in the whole top layer up but then when i get to the point where the link is i'm then going to switch to some deep slate tiles i'm going to place three there but then returning back to the polish and the site And then when I get to that point again, more tiles, switching again. And then just filling it all up until I can't go anymore. So just until I reach this point. Just there. And that pretty much completes what we need to do to start decorating our interior. But before I do that, one final detail that we need to add. I'm going to grab myself some iron jack doors. And I'm just going to place three on top of where each of the links are there so now with the exterior done we can now start properly decorating the interior and before i do that i need to light this place up so i'm gonna grab myself some glowstone and then pretty much just where each of these black points are i'm just gonna place one glowstone at the top there so i'm just gonna do this for each black point there so just making sure we align with each of them and that's just an easy way to know where to place each of the lights so just doing this for each carriage. And then once all the ghost stones are in place, with some iron trap doors, I'm going to place one underneath each ghost stone. So first up, I'm going to show you how to make the driver sections in the train. So firstly, for this, I'm going to use some smooth quartz. And then just from this point here, so just left side of the door here, I'm going to place three blocks there, leaving a gap and another three on the end there. I'm just going to do this for the other side as well. So from that point, let's place another three just there. So firstly, for the front area, and these are pretty much going to be the same, doesn't matter what order you do it. For this, I'm going to grab myself some deep slate tiles. I'm going to place one at the front there, followed by three, and then another three. And then for some controls, I'm going to grab myself some levers and some stone buttons. I'm going to place one lever just either side, and then two stone buttons in the middle there. And then for some navigation, I'm going to grab myself an item frame and a compass. And I'm just going to place one item frame on each side with a compass just there. And then for the driver's seat, I'm going to grab myself a stone slab, smooth stone one. Place one there. I'm also going to grab myself an iron door and a black banner. One iron door behind that with a black banner just there. And that will give us a nice seat. And then one final detail with a lever, I'm then going to add one on the redstone lamp and that will allow us to turn it on so i'm going to repeat this design on the other side so again with some more deep tech tiles let's place one there then followed by three 
then eight, another three. And then two levers, either side, with some stone buttons in the middle. And then one lever at the top there to power the light. And then let's not forget the navigation. So two item frames on either side again with a compass just there. And then smooth stone slab with an iron door behind that. And then that banner just there. And that will complete the other end of our driver section. So with the driver sections done, I can now start adding in all of the seats for the passengers. So for this, I'm going to grab myself some smooth stone slabs, iron door, and some orange banners to begin with. I'm also going to grab myself a deep state tile wall and some that carpet. So firstly, starting with this front carriage here, I'm firstly, from this point, going to place two smooth stone slabs just there. And behind each of them, place some iron doors with some orange banners in front. And then I'm going to leave a gap of one and place another two smooth stone slabs and then two iron doors just there. And the next, I'm now going to use some deep set tile walls. Place one of them on either side and then some black carpet on top for a table design. And then some more orange bands behind for the seats. And then for some extra seats, another two smooth stone slabs with some iron doors behind and then two orange banners just there. And then moving across to the other side, I'm then going to place another two smooth stone slabs there. Then leaving the gap, place another two and then just place some more iron doors with some orange banners in front. And then again for some more tables, some more walls and some carpet. And then leaving a gap, I'm going to place another two, then a final gap and then another two. And with some more iron doors, place them all behind each of these slabs with some orange banners in front. And as you will see, that will complete the first set of chairs for our front carriage. So next, moving on to the middle carriage. Before this, with some more smooth stone slabs, let's place one on either side again. Placing some more orange banners and iron doors just there. And leave another gap, let's place another four slabs there. Put some more iron doors on each end. More banners. And then another two tables. And leaving a gap of two, placing another two chairs there. And I'm just going to mirror what I've done on this section, on this section here. So again, another two chairs there leaving a gap of two and then adding another four chairs with another two tables in between and then another two chairs at the back there and then for the third carriage moving to the back let's place another two chairs there leaving a gap let's place another lot And then another lot opposite. And then some more tables in between. And then moving to the other end, let's place another two chairs. Leave the side here. With some more tables. And then leaving the gap, I can then place another two lots of chairs. there and then some more banners to finish them off and then for one final detail on this train with some trick wire hooks i'm going to place one on each side of each door for some handles so people don't fall over when they stand up so just gonna add some of them on the side of each door it's there so with those trick wire hooks placed that is the interior of our train complete so i hope you guys did enjoy this tutorial and also if you want to hang out with me then the discord link to my server is in the description just a nice place to chill and hang out and do whatever really but yeah so thanks for watching and have a good day